Bitcoin talents. Um, that's the next topic we will address. And therefore, thanks to the sponsors of the talents program, but also primarily to Binance and Michael Wild, we have worked hard on this agreement um, because we on our side, as a Frankfurt School, we now also want to receive stable coins as payment. And as you can imagine, it's not easy uh, for an, like an existing company with an existing accounting department uh, to, uh, to basically make this happen, you know, receiving stable coins. So therefore, this goes hand in hand. Therefore, thanks, Michael. And uh, please, I would like to hand over the voice, the microphone uh, to you. And um, it's interesting to have companies like Binance and others sponsoring us with regards to education, and you know why? because we applied for government funding as the, at the European Commission for the Women Empowerment Program, and we didn't get one single euro. So imagine this, right? Government is not providing money to really empower women. We, have, we tried it twice, and therefore thanks Binance and the other sponsors that you are stepping in here to make this happen. As I said, we educated 500 women, so we know that it works. Michael, your voice. Well, good morning, everybody. I would like to keep this very short today, and thank you again, Philip. Um, it's a pleasure and an honor for us uh, to cooperate with Frankfurt School, and I see it as a beginning. We are planning additional um, cooperations, uh, even around scholarships uh, and uh, dedicated uh, modules and studies. And I mean, I do not want to touch base again on education, what we already did yesterday. Everybody's aware around the importance of education, that you understand where you invest and in what you invest, especially in times of inflation. Um, Philip just uh, yeah, shortly touched base on this. Um, today we want to start, talk about uh, infrastructure, frameworks. We want to talk about regula regulation, which is necessary that the whole ecosystem can further grow. We from Binance, we do not regard regulation as a burden. We welcome it as a framework we can operate in and that we better understand what does the government expect of us. And this is exactly the reason why we're coming to, uh, together today. Um, Philip quickly touched base on the topic of uh, carbon emissions, especially in regard um, to tokenization uh, mining. Um, there are very interesting product, uh, very interesting projects outside in the ecosystem. Uh, some friends of mine are mining in Switzerland. And if you just imagine Switzerland is one of the most expensive countries in the world, how can they mine there? How can they make profits? It's quite easy. They are buying the electricity for nine rupin from uh, the uh, state, from the administration, and putting their miners next to uh, ecological farms and giving the worms of the miners to the farms. Why they, do they do this? Um, the farms normally burn fossil fuels to heat the houses so that they do not need to use any toxic acids, whatever, to grow their plants and to protect them. And this is biological. So this is, this is sustainable. And this is something we need to question, and this is what the ecosystem does. So uh, as I said, I want to keep it short. Uh, thank you very much for attending the conference today. Um, have good chats. Uh, if you want to talk around education, around cooperation, we will be outside there. I'm happy to support more projects in Germany. Thank you very much. Have fun.